An internal report just released from the Obama transition team shows that the president-elect was interviewed personally by federal prosecutor Patrick Fitzgerald last week in the Rod Blagojevich investigation. Well, the report concludes that neither Mr. Obama nor anyone else on his team knew Blagojevich was seeking anything in return for a Senate appointment. Here now to talk about it is Democratic strategist David Serrata, a uh, author of the new book, the uprising in syndicated radio host and Fox News contributor, Monica Crowley. Good to see you both. Hi, Greg. All right, Monica, Hi, look. On the day that Blago was arrested, Fitzpatrick, Fitzgerald, I should say, um, says the Obama people didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. The Obama people's internal report says we didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Where's, where's the beef? Well, you know, Patrick Fitzgerald is a very thorough guy, and he's actually been looking into Blagojevich for quite a while now, at least a couple of years. And he's heard the conversation Prior to this situation. And what we do know is that um, uh, Fitzgerald has many tapes. So this internal report, certainly the Obama team side of the story, they're saying we had no inappropriate conduct. But he's heard, Fitzgerald has heard the tapes. Fitzgerald has if heard If there was something the that, uh, that he affected did, Obama, he, he would have said well, it, wouldn't he? he said at the time, he said, we make no allegation against the president-elect at right. this time. We make no allegation. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure because of this internal report, because you know, there are a lot of things put together in this report that were done, as they say, from memory. So right. if there is an inconsistency between what Fitzgerald has and what the Obama team is yeah. putting out, that might cause But you issue. know, David, those memories were refreshed over the last several days when Fitzgerald and other prosecutors played tapes of the conversations of Rahm Emanuel and Blagojevich and Harris to Rahm Emanuel. So he knows what he said, he knows what they heard. Surely he wouldn't lie about that in the report. And, and I think that's the key point here, is that, is that there has been cooperation between the transition team and the prosecutor. And the prosecutor has said uh, that there, is, there, war, there was no inappropriate or criminal behavior by the transition team. I, I, I agree with the premise of your question. I haven't seen any shred of hard evidence that suggests that what the Obama team has done is anything inappropriate whatsoever. I don't know where the beef is. Well, well I hear, Monica, what about this? Maybe this whole thing, instead of hurting Obama, is going to burnish his image as highly ethical. What about Me that? Meaning getting this stuff out early and he wouldn't and doing do this, this pay for play. Dump. Refused right. to do it. Right. Wouldn't have anything to do with it. Doesn't yeah. that burnish his image? As as long as it proceeds along these lines, where the Obama team has not done anything, there yeah. are no inconsistencies between what they remember in their own internal report and what Fitzgerald ends up doing with Blagojevich. As long as that is the case, right. uh, then okay. certainly that may be true. All right. Let me switch subjects. Um, hey, David, did you see the op-ed? by John Corzine, the governor of New Jersey, in today's Washington Post. He is calling for Barack Obama to uh, undertake a $1 trillion stimulus to help the alien economy. What do you think of that? I think it's a good idea. I think that we need as much a stimulus, uh, consumptive stimulus, for this economy as possible. How do we pay to for me, that? Well, that... It, right now in a tough economy most economists on both sides of the aisle will tell you that we have to deficit spend at the federal level we have to that's how we get we've gotten out of uh, past eco economic problems that's how we got out of the Great Depression and again I, I want to be clear economists on both sides of the aisle have said we need to deficit spend right now right, getting us out of this hole is important. what do you think of that I agree that there has to be some deficit spending here, and there's there's got to be some sort of stimulus package, but $1 trillion, you'll remember during the campaign, before the economic meltdown happened around September or October, Barack Obama was running on this idea of $1 trillion in new spending anyway. Right. This economic crisis is now giving him the perfect pretext to go in and do the kind of spending that he wanted to do anyway. I would just uh, remind David and everybody else that, that FDR, during the Great Depression, did put a lot of this infrastructure spending into place and it actually now based on based on all kinds of studies and academic work done on the Great Depression that that kind of massive government intervention right. actually prolonged the Great it Depression did. and didn't solve yeah, it. Yeah, I think historians no, that's pretty an much absurd statement. That. Da, da, that, no, is an not, that, that is an absurd oh, statement. That is an no, absolutely absolute absurd not. statement to claim books. that the New Deal, <laughs> that the spending of the New Deal prolonged the Great Depression. Uh, it is a right-wing talking point that keeps being repeated and I hope people like you keep repeating it. I hope people like you keep repeating it because if you want to run against FDR, the 
most pe uh, popular president it's in American in the history. David, okay, the now most maybe those historians are wrong, but American it's in history. the books. Go ahead. David Serrata, uh, Monica Crowley, thank you both. You bet. Merry Christmas. All right. Happy holidays.